the entrance antiphon. Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we honor St. Peter Claver, so we take a moment now to acknowledge our sins, preparing ourselves for the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave of yourself to heal us and strengthen us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share of it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it for fear that after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. 
your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God, grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. The Lord be with you. I read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye but, not, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own. How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. During the Olympics, when we come to see the track and field competitions, it is something to not only realize how these runners have developed such speed and endurance, but also when they have shown at times what has led them up to being such great athletes to hear all the hours they put in for training day and night, to hear how they watch their diet, that it gives them energy, to have a focus when they are doing what they're doing, just having the focus not only to run, but to win. That's what we hear in a similar way today, uh, my friends, when we hear of, of um, Paul to the Corinthians, uh, because he's speaking in using the words or the imagery for us of being an athlete, talking about all of us who are in the stands, maybe getting ready to run the run of faith. And we know that in his life, he has taken many, many days and years, not only to let the Lord Jesus inspire his life, but now he's forming all that he's doing in the eyes of Jesus and for Jesus. So he helps us to see that now, in a sense, he's an athlete for Christ. He's this man filled with zeal. He every day wants to run for Christ. He wants everybody to keep looking forward to the crown of life. We know we're not going to wear some kind of crown ourselves. But what we run for is everlasting life. We run like Paul in we running when we're walking to proclaim the gospel, uh, to share the goodness of God. So he inspires us today to stay on the road of life. He asks us to keep training by having prayer in our lives, the sacraments that strengthen us, 
and to just every day keep our focus on where we're going on the road to eternal life. So may his prayers today inspire us. Let us never lose heart, for when that day comes, we will receive the crown of everlasting life. God bless you. Knowing of our Father's faithfulness, we present to him our needs and petitions. Order Church and her apopolistic mission, may the Lord be generous in guiding her to, in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For national leaders, may the Lord strengthen their humility and understanding to govern as servant leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with addiction of any kind, May the Lord's compassionate presence lead to recovery and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this community discerning a vocation to priesthood or religious life, may the Holy Spirit be their guide and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, the, for all who have died, especially Steve Pivovar, for whom this Mass is offered, may the Father welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that you hold in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also ask blessings upon Father Mosier today. It's his birthday. That God will abundantly bless him this day and throughout the year. We pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, continue to grant us the grace of each and every moment running to you, and may our humble service lead others to Christ, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. The sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity, made by example of blessed Peter Claver, be confirmed in love of you and our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Peter Claver you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you.
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property.
Let us pray. Having fed upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love that imitating by the grace the charity of blessed Peter Claver, we may be also made partakers with him in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a peace-filled day, everyone.